Hello, YouTube friends. I'm here with another video for you guys. I'm in my kitchen. You guys can see my pantry behind me. I did a pantry organization video not that long ago, but I have four kids who have just destroyed this pantry. It's not that bad, but it definitely needs to be done again. I can't make this up, but when he just took off with the sponge because I have the kitchen sink underneath the kitchen sink cabinet open because I'm also going to be filming, organizing that as well. And Winnie, the puppy, grabbed a sponge and took off outside out the doggy door. Okay, back to what I was saying. I am going to quickly clean out this pantry and get rid of any food that is not good anymore. I don't think there is much because like I said, I just did this recently. I did get a few things to help organize the pantry a little bit better. So let me show you. This is the first thing I got. I got it from Costco. I shared it in a Costco haul recently. I'm going to put all of this in the pantry and get rid of all of the other Tupperware that I have just to kind of consolidate it and then have one set with all of the lids because I'm pretty sure other lids are missing. I did get two of these, um, I, they're like Lazy Susans is what they're called, what I've always called them, sorry if I'm wrong, but I did get two of these from Ross. So I did get two different sizes, so I don't know if I'm going to put them in here in the pantry or in the spice cabinet. And then I also got this organizer that hooks on the back of the door to the pantry. This is the cabinet where we keep all of the spices and some of the extra baking stuff. So I might be able to consolidate some of this to the pantry, to the pantry door here. I might be able to do that. And then maybe put the Tupperware up in the cabinet here instead of trying to find it down here because this is what happens. It just gets too cluttered. And this is the cabinet underneath the kitchen sink. You can tell how cluttered it is. It's hard to find stuff. And I have this whole other box that has been in the laundry room that has a bunch of cleaning products that I'm going to try to fit in here once I get it um, cleaned up. I bought this from Ross the other day as well. It is, I think, meant for underneath the bathroom sink, but I'm going to try to see if I can get it to work underneath the kitchen sink. So I have about an hour and a half to crank out as much of this as I can before I have to leave and go get the kids. So then I'll have to take a break, go get the kids, come back and finish it. I, wanted to ha I want to have all of this done by the end of today. That way it's done and checked off my list. Hope you guys enjoy this video. guys see me struggling to get up and down it's because I've been doing squats and resistive bands this week and my legs are so sore so if you guys see me struggling that's why This liner it's just a cheap liner from the Dollar Tree I'm just gonna put it under here it says not adhesive so I think it's just gonna lay I'll lay everything on top and then I got two of these shelves I might use them in the pantry or underneath here if you guys can hear the dogs they're barking at nothing so 
sorry about that, but I just wanted to uh, quickly share that I got both of these items from the Dollar Tree. Well, that was a fail because it was only this tiny little bit. I thought there would be enough to cover the bottom of this. So, another time because it won't even cover like the front part here it's too short so that was a fail I was really excited about this too moving on okay this is a fail as well because of all of the pipe and garbage disposal underneath the sink because this won't fit so I am going to have to put this in my, underneath my bathroom sink, which is fine because I've been wanting to get one in there anyways. But I was really liking the thought of something like this with the drawer going in here. So this whole situation is turning out to be a failure. But I'm just going to work with it and at least get it a bit organized with the materials that I do have on hand. So, stay tuned, probably, for a future kitchen sink organization. This is as good as I'm going to get it right now. Um, it's at least decluttered a bit and I can easily access cleaning materials that I need. Here's the rest of this stuff. A lot of it is carpet cleaners, Febreze, dog shampoo over here. So I'm actually going to put this in a different cabinet. This is a little cabinet we have um, next to the dining room next to the table. It does already have some cleaning stuff in there, so I'm just now going to organize it and put the rest of the other cleaning products in here.
This did take longer than I expected, but I am so glad that it is finally done and a bit more organized than my previous attempt at organizing the pantry. And I do plan to reorganize underneath the kitchen sink just because it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you guys some motivation to tackle any projects that you guys want to do in your own home. If you guys are new here, I really hope that you guys hit that subscribe button and join my growing YouTube family. I post here on my channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I post a variety of content from vlogs, cleaning motivation, cooking inspiration, a little bit of makeup, and just everyday mom life videos. So I hope that you do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys know every time I post a new video. If you guys are returning subscribers, thank you so much for all of your love and support here on my channel. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I love to hear from all of you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.